Yeah, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down. <laughs> <laughs> In an awkward position. <laughs> As I just broke my camera. Like I hit it on a stone here. That one. First of all, I'm really thirsty. There is a lot of sun. I'm literally fighting a war of shade. Okay, this this works. Hi guys, it's And and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to Everything with And. I make lifestyle vlogs, I make crime and mystery videos, and I also make content on skincare. I am traveling to my hometown, Butare. It's in the south of Rwanda and it's literally a vibe. Every time I'm there, I feel rested, I feel like I'm breathing fresh air. I'm traveling there for the weekend and I'm bringing you guys along, so let me get my bags and we can go. Hi guys, so I arrived. I got here really late at night. I was a bit tired, but I saw my parents. I'm so happy and oof, the air here, so fresh, so fresh. The sun so bright. So today, I want to go to the stadium to watch the match. I think Rwanda is playing with Ethiopia. And I also want to go visit the museum. I don't know how the schedule is going to work around that, but I want to do one of that. Stadium is like over there and that's a line. And we're literally waiting at the reception to see if any of them come. We saw the coach, we saw like other people, but like we're waiting for the main players. You get embarrassment is a choice. We're not, we're not, we're not shy. We're not shy. Waiting for. <laughs> In an awkward position. <laughs> a selfie from who? <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> okay. So we met all of them, the superstars. Yeah. Got Credit to goes to me. Yeah, because I'm the one who this guy yes. here. Everyone. <laughs> okay, shout out. It was his idea. He insisted. She insisted. Dream come true. Enjoy. <laughs> Hi guys, oh yesterday was such a great day, like I had so much fun, I met the Amavubi football players, oh my god, such superstars and the way we met them is just literally we went to the hotel where they were staying and we waited for them at the reception, 
and we were picking and choosing whoever we like. So today I had the great opportunity to come at the National Museum and it's called, it's, this one is the Ethnographic Museum. So one of my most cherished childhood memories is to come at the museum. Like I used to come to the museum so many times. So I really wanted to come to the museum uh, on my trip around here. And yeah, here I am. I was really worried because like time was getting mm, on my feet. So it's not allowed to take pictures or videos inside, but it really has kept the heritage of Rwanda, the culture back in the days, how people lived, what they did for a living. I'm gonna go inside. It's such a big museum. It's really big and there's a lot to go through, but um, I'm always excited. I really like culture stuff. I like heritage. And I have to confess, like this is one of the best museums among all the museums I've been at here in Rwanda and abroad. Like museum, this one, the aesthetics, just the way they explain everything. Anyways, let me stop rambling and go inside the museum. I think I have to check in first and then pay the entrance fee and then like free time. You could literally come here and be here for days. I just came from the inside. Now I'm visiting the garden and like the outside activities. You guys look at this place and tell me that I didn't have an amazing childhood. Look, oh my goodness, the greenery. So to this way is like the design of the traditional Rwandan house. camera stops here in the inside you can't like film anything but basically it has like different homes and stuff like that guys I just broke my camera like I hit it on a stone here that one I'm trying my best to hold in tears I'm literally trying not to cry oh my goodness like the price of fixing the lens is literally equal to the price of just buying a whole new one. <sighs> Anyways, that is cute to going home. It was such a pleasure. All right, I think I'm going to end the vlog here and I'm going to catch the bus back to Kigali. Satisfying you